Hey guys, it's um, Thursday, 8 o'clock. Uh, this is not going to be a short video, so I won't even say that. Um, it, uh, it's actually probably going to be a intense, emotional sort of a video. Um, uh, so, I had work today. I have work every day, but I had my Thursday work, which is different than my other days of work, where I, I do a group. And... Um, I think I mentioned kind of lightheartedly in my last post that a school has discovered that I'm transitioning and they don't want me there around kids. And I, and so I talked about that um, a little bit, I think, today in therapy. It's been so long that I could swear that therapy was another day, um, but it was actually today at 8.30 this morning. Um, and talked about this huge thing that I haven't really talked about that much of um, telling my family next weekend and all the thoughts and feelings that I have around that and the, and the fears. Um, um, so, and then uh, I go to this support group. Um, it's not trans related and um, everyone there perceives me as female and so we're doing work and they're like you know connect with your with the the inner child the little girl within us because everyone there is female and I was like yeah you lost me and so I'm struggling uh, I like that word struggling I'm having a fucking hard time how about that uh, which is kind of my world and um, this is not like pity me sort of a, a deal it's this truly is like my journaling and um, and then I guess taking the risk to put it out there because I, I have to imagine that maybe someone else somewhere else also is feeling or experiencing or has at some point. Um, so I guess I'm kind of all over the map again. Um, I guess I will start with kind of the most present thing is, is I, I was at work and um, it's like 40 kids and they're really difficult. They're all expulsion kids so they can't go to any regular schools at all. and. Lots of, lots and lots of issues that I absolutely don't need to get into, but um, it was like three and a half hours of just them not listening and them doing what they want to do and to the extreme of throwing shit at each other and hitting each other and faggot this and that's so gay and gang stuff and I was just like, ugh, my God. Um, so after about two and a half hours, my coworker and I split the groups up and I took one group and she took a group and we were supposed to talk about respect and um, so my kids talked about um, respecting people that they fear and that getting respect by having people fear them which was an interesting sort of a concept because I so don't subscribe to that whole thing I actually don't respect people that I fear and I don't want people to fear me um, under the guise of respect so um, so we brought the two groups to get back together and blah, blah, blah. And by the end of it, it was, I was so effing spent. And my coworker, who's also my boss, said, hey, I just want to give you a heads up that at my group, they said, they asked me, me being my boss, they, they asked my boss if I was a boy or a girl. And my boss said, Aiden's a boy. And the kid said, did Aiden used to be a girl? And my boss said, I think that you all need to talk to Aiden about this and you know maybe talk to him individually but but don't bring it up in front of the entire group so this is I think it's cool that they're asking and that's definitely not my issue my issue is is that it feels like it's the elephant in the room and it feels like it's a distraction to them it's a distraction to me um, and right now I want a different job um, I wish that I had the strength and the courage to transition at work um, where I work now but I don't think that I do and I think that it's going to get worse um, before it gets better um, so that's kind of kicking my ass um, because I feel like I'm giving up I feel like I'm quitting and that I should be stronger and more courageous um, and that nothing will ever change if somebody doesn't stand up and um, have a voice and say this is we're here you know like much like it was with the gay 
gay and lesbian movement some years ago, you know, it was like it required people to come out and say, you know, we are your brothers, your sisters, your daughters, your parents, your doctors, that whole spiel. But it really required people making that sacrifice and doing that. And I feel, I feel like I want to be that person. I want to be one of those people for the trans community, um, the whole trans community, uh, gender queer, male to female, female to male, people who don't want to subscribe to that sort of a binary system. Um, but on the other hand, um, I can't. I can't, I can't sacrifice, I can't sacrifice every part of me to do that. Um, so I'm having a real difficult time because it feels like a real chicken shit way. And this is no judgment to anyone else, but just is, this is my own sort of thing of it feels like a chicken shit if I quit my job um, and go work somewhere else because I, I need to, I want a fresh start or whatever. It feels like that's chicken shit. Although if somebody else made a video of saying, I need a fresh start, my response would be like, yeah, right on. You know, way to take care of yourself, blah, blah, blah. But I don't have, I don't have that same sort of language myself.